The main aim of this article is to analyze the role of the public editors or readers editors, the so-called ombudsmen of the press, in ensuring the journalistic quality of newspapers. At the same time, we want to know how these authority figures respond to the complaints received from active readers. In order to discover the different models of current performances internationally, we have analyzed about 200 articles published between 2014 and 2015. All of these articles were published in nine well-known journals, so the final sample comes from eight different countries and includes the New York Times from USA, the Guardian from UK, Fola de Sao Paulo from Brazil, Le Monde from France, El País and La Vanguardia from Spain, Toronto Star from Canada, O Publico from Portugal, and Tribune de Geneva Media from Switzerland. This research is part of the work about journalistic quality developed by the authors over the last few years. In the text, we explain how traditionally the ombudsman figure has been one of the main tools for the press to demonstrate its social responsibility. The ombudsman is usually presented as a relevant instrument in order to guarantee transparency, independence and quality of contents. However, its presence is far from universal and even it is often affected by economic or business crisis. The first ombudsman appeared in two United States newspapers in the late 60s. Since, since then, they have contributed to promote confidence and credibility among their readers. The relevance of this figure has been reflected in a number of previous academic publications. However, they don't often show a comparative analysis of the actual interaction of ombudsmen with active readers. For these readers, we understand those who send their complaints to the newspapers, which are finally incorporated in the ombudsman columns. In our study of recent articles published by the ombudsman, we have used a qualitative and quantitative methodology to identify the main characteristics of their interaction with the readers. The research focused on several questions. What issues are treated in the ombudsman pieces? Who proposed these topics for discussion? How the active readers are identified and how their words are quoted? What image of these readers is transmitted to the public opinion? What sources are consulted or used to answer the audience? And what patterns of complaint management are predominant in these columns? The results of this research show how central the journalistic quality is in all the debates promoted by the Ombudsman. At the same time, it's also evident that they opt to deal with these complaints in a considerate way by showing, for example, a defensive or justifying attitude rather than a real will to assume mistakes in the news coverage. Although editorial or deontological topics represent half of the issues addressed in their columns, the models chosen for resolving these complaints are generally based on a moderate way of resolution, refraining from questioning the editorial statements of their media. At the same time, the image of the active readers trumped by public editors doesn't show a hostile audience. They depict readers with their own criterion, those that contribute with complementary opinions to enrich each debate. As a conclusion, as the article states, the role of the Ombudsman faces the limitations imposed by his atypical position between the staff and the readers. Their complaints re they function rely more on the voluntarism than the real action because they the lack of the punishment power. We have verified how the explanatory model predominates in which the ombudsman just seek answers from journalists and staff of the newspapers in order to respond to the complaints or protests of the active readers. <laughs>